So family, we're still at Sun Power Innovations. And my good brother, uh, Alex here, uh, production manager, right? Product manager. Product manager. Yeah, exactly. I appreciate it. And you're going to explain all of this fancy technology right here? Yeah, so so yeah. These, these are the inverters. You know, the inverter usually uh, converts the DC current, you know, after the the panel harnesses the, the rays of the sunlight into electricity, it becomes a direct current. So this system here converts the direct current from the panel to alternating current. current. Okay. And then it sends a part of the of the power to the battery cabinet over there. That's the battery cabinet over there. The battery cabinet. Yeah, that's it. Then it's covered. Yeah, it's covered. So um Oh, perfect. If you can lift it up just a little. Can we, can we see some of the batteries? Okay, perfect. So everything is all connected. Yeah. And then it sent a part also to the loop. So, yeah, that's it. So it sent a part to the loop. So see the, 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 the battery cabinet. The lines on the battery cabinet. Yes. And it comes all the way. Inverter number two. Inverse number so one. They are, they are both synchronized. And so when you have a big house like this, is two inverters important? Oh yeah, so it depends on the load capacity. It depends on the load capacity. So this inverter, one is like, uh, one is 10 kilowatts, this is 10 kilowatts, so the two is 20 kilowatts. So more power, so, yeah. right? So more power for the building. So that's why you tell me that you guys are never out of power. Uh, do you do you run any heavy machine like washing machines or anything? Oh yeah, we run. We have a, we even have a kitchen inside there. We run a uh, washing machine. We run all kind of. We, we run about about eight air conditioners here. Wow. Yes, and yeah, we have we have stuff here. We have food. powerful system. So you must have a lot of solar panels then. Yes, absolutely. On, on the roof. Do, now is the panels all over the roof like you have it on like no, it's a ANSI mall? Now it's about 440 watts, mm. and we have a number of them, so it's able to cater for the load we have here. Absolutely, and these are the technicians right here. Yeah, you know, that's how they're, they're uh, Hello guys, how's it going? Hello. You want to say hello, hello to everybody on YouTube? Hello. No? <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, hey family soccer, some of us are shy, and we're still getting used to being on, on YouTube. That's, that's perfect, man. So I guess you guys, when that house it, it like it's finished, but I guess when it's finished, you guys gonna put solar panels on the top also. Yeah, if they are beautiful solar, we have to get to that. I mean, everybody's driving by. I'm sure they see this big, beautiful gate mm -hmm. that says Sun Power Innovations, mm -hmm. and they probably like. You know, I'm sure people come by and say, "Hey, what's going on?" And then when yeah. you give them a presentation, they wanna. Yeah, they wanna go. Yeah, that is true. A lot of people now they come to understand the technology. You know, previously we had to do a lot of education. Right. Previously, we had to do a lot of education because people people didn't understand the technology. So, but now people have come to understand the technology. Several of them, they they, they, they become beneficiary of the of the technology. It's really helping them. It's helping them save a lot of money and all that. So now people keep dropping in, you know, requesting for for um, for, for solar. So yeah, now I think. People are getting to understand the, the technology, yeah, and, and it, it, we are we are we are doing well in the market. Yes, because I'm I'm sure like 20 years ago, people, you know, was curious, but yeah, but and like you mentioned, the most important thing is in the education aspects of society. Yeah. People are used to grid power, grid power yeah. and then now we're telling them solar power, solar power yeah. and it, it takes that level of time and education to get people open. It's kind of like, what I like is, I always believe that, you know, it, it, we have so much rain from the sky. Yeah. Just like we have so much sun from the sky, why can't we harvest more of the water from the, from the sky mm -hmm. and build our own independent water systems in our home mm -hmm. instead of putting so much pressure on the water company yeah. and the water company is trying to get everybody water and, exactly. you know? So that's the same way I look at the uh, yeah. you know, solar system. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's the innovative sit situation that we have to... You know, we have to you know move forward to. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So then you know you turn around you, you know you don't have any problems when lights out and when water is out. Yeah. yeah. Which which some people tell me they still have those problems yeah. in Ghana. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, because they still do, because like I said, it's not everybody that's, that has come to understand the technology. So we are still mm -hmm. trying to educate the people. So so currently, you know, um, I believe we, we, we have, we don't have a larger portion of the population, uh, you know, understanding the, te the technology. I'm sure probably we have about just 10% or less than 5% who understand the technology. And as time goes on, educating the people, as people educating the, 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 the public about solar power system, I believe they will come to terms with the, with the technology and then gradually uh, we will all you know, try and um, I mean, move, move the, you know, the challenges of Africa in terms of energy to another, another level. We will all try and um, get rid of the challenges that we have in terms of energy in Africa. Yes. And that's the vision of, of Sampa Innovation, is to power Africa renewably. You know, so to ensure that maybe in the next 10 years, 20 years, about at least 50% of the, of the African continent will, will go solar or will actually use the renewable means of, of powering their homes, their respective you know, homes. And that's the vision of, of our company. And that's what we are working for. Well, that's perfect, man, because a, a whole lot has happened in 10 years. Because I honestly don't remember any of these companies being around when I was here in Ghana 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. And now, I'm seeing this beautiful operation. I just came from another one, and then I, I have other friends that's looking at different ones. Yeah. So, uh, you know, family, we're getting there. And I see that you have a nice uh, uh, chart here. Does that does that explain anything? Oh well, yeah. So um, we have the the, the board of directors, and, and then we have the other line of managers, the safety manager. The account manager, the safety manager is actually the one who actually regulates uh, the safety rules, comes up with safety policies for the company, and ensure that whatever we do is, you know, it's it's done without um, damage or without um, um, problems. And we have the account manager who actually supervises the uh, finances and everything. And we have operations manager, and we have sales and then uh, business development manager. Which I fall within. I fall within this. The sales and business. We have the HR manager. We have safety reps. We have finance officer. We have sales executive admin. We have first aid, first aiders, like fire fighters. We have procurement logistics, um, warehousing. Uh, we have sales support, transport, direct sales, security, um, cleaner, and the mountain manager, uh, electrical manager, power, uh, power tower. Manager does quality control or QAQC manager, mountain technicians, electrical technicians, power tower technicians. Hello, do you want to smile for the camera? She's like, nah. Hey, but, hey, so, but, yeah, yeah. So that's how I'm gonna go. That's how we work here. Brother, that's beautiful, man. You have a nice corporate enterprise or so family. We're not just, we're talking about some serious companies, yeah. serious. Black people putting their money together and investing in the building a serious enterprise. Yeah. So for those of you who've been following me, I'm telling you family, I've been, I've been showing you the real Africa. We're enterprising on a whole other level. So let's come and join us and connect. Um, is there anything else you can show me? Yeah, so I think that's it. That's it? Let me see. You know, I like the sign in the front. Um, I didn't want to just start walking in here with a camera. Um, but, um, and I noticed everyone has like, Everyone literally just has high security. Are those electrical wires, are they active? Yeah, they're active. Yeah. Anybody ever go up there and get shocked? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, do you give them a little pulse or do, does yeah. it fry them? All right, family, this is the, the vehicle. Let me show you this vehicle, family. This is beautiful. Yeah, this is a beautiful corporate vehicle. And I'm also learning from my brothers here in Ghana because I'm you know, expanding my business here to really enterprise on another level and move from uh, the operation we have in Georgia to here in Ghana. And I just love these shirts. Man. Yeah. So family, this is it right here. Beautiful. And I love this. So this light system is um, it's motion detector. Yes. And then see, family, get the.
got a solar panel collected, connected to that light right there. And, and my brothers, uh, it, it do show electrical wires right here, but none of these wires are connected to the grid, right? Yeah. Or, or is it connected as a form of backup? Yeah, like when, yeah, so maybe in the future, because maybe you can switch out the person to the street. The person add more load that is love for and then the person can switch to the grid. So there you go, family. That's a, me and my brother Alex here. I'm um, just connecting, and now we got another good connect here in Ghana. And I'm literally sh the website and all of the details. That way you can be clear. All right. So this is one of the few companies we're going to be working with as we look to expand and build our Black Star Pan African community and have some of the best professional technicians work with us. So family, once again, this is your brother, Bomani Tayamba, live on Revolutionary Cam, and that's here in this beautiful neighborhood. As a matter of fact, family, I'm gonna give you a view of myself around this neighborhood. And this is officially West Lagon. Yeah. So where I'm at in East Lagon, probably about 10 minutes away. So just like you see our Africa for Africans brand family, we're gonna get us one of these corporate enterprises. And for those who are watching also, same thing too, put your money together and build a beautiful black power enterprise so we can hire our own people and innovate to the next level. All right, so family, keep it strong.